Okay, guys, this is the long awaited my plastic surgery. Not really plastic surgery. Okay, honestly, right, I have been just consistently referring to it as plastic surgery. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, right now, y'all are balanced on a trolley, and my dog is literally having the funnest time. And if I do cut off, and if the audio suddenly changes quality, it's literally because I either one side stopped recording. So that's that. Okay, um, but anyway, hi, it's Tony Tony Tree. Welcome to my channel. Um, I know I've not been consistent. I really tried to be consistent with vlogging, but I guess my life just took a turn for the worse. And honestly, if I'm keeping this in, it's a lot of me rambling, but I do like rambling videos. So if y'all enjoy this kind of videos, let me know. Okay, but anyway, uh, I'll be splitting up my cosmetic procedures um video into three parts. So the first one will be recovering with me, which is today's video and then after that i'm gonna be talking about like um a full story time as to like what happened on the day itself of the surgery and then the third video would be um what procedures i actually got so i actually did like the what procedures i actually got video in like multiple series like multiple parts on tiktok but obviously i'm gonna make a consolidated one lah so I'll stay tuned for that. I've written down notes, like, actually wrote down, like, exactly how I felt. And I am also going to go through my phone's camera roll, like, right here, right now. And I'll be flashing, like, videos of how I look. Because I think, like, videos would be more telling of how bloated or how, like, my facial movements were, like, as through the healing process. Okay, wait. There you go. You want to lie down? Okay. Anyway, so for those that don't know, um, I went to Korea recently in end October and I went to get, basically I went to get like a V Fox Line, Fox Line Lift Surgery with ATOP. Basically what it involves is um, lipo on my chin, lipo on my jaw and also buckle fat removal and thread lifts over here and or chin filler. And also, um, this is outside of the the Fox line lift. I also did a mini facelift. Okay, y'all. So first day, right? I honestly I don't know what the fuck I was doing because as you can tell, like they bandaged up like this entire portion. This entire portion they taped it with like surgical tape. So there was not because there was no incision where the liposuction was done. The liposuction was done via like needles. So this was this part had no incision the only incisions were the sides here because i had a facelift so what they did was they like cut a portion of my skin off and then they like sew my face tighter so these parts i had like these galls on my face and like in this video i don't know if you can tell like what i was eating i don't think i showed the fucking camera but i was eating like i bought mentaiko rice like i thought rice okay rice is soft but like I, I stupidly bought it without realizing that they mixed tempura inside. So it was super, super crispy. This meal I couldn't finish because my, like, this part, this part of my, my, because when they, they stitched it up, right? Like, my muscle was getting used to being tightened. So every time that like, I chewed or something, right? I, I felt like there was muscle spasming, like, spasms over here. So this was a very very hard meal i totally don't recommend doing this at all like this was not it man and then if you can tell like over here there's like three dots on my face three dots on my face and these three dots are well, actually the spots where they put my thread lifts and over here also you can tell there's like two stickers and like so over here the two stickers and the three dots each on my face it's where the entry points of the thread list were so how my face felt at that point in time right super tight i swear it's really like right like they like it my face and this entire portion of my face like this part my whole cheek was just sore like sore to the touch it felt like someone punched me like really hard in the face and i had a very bad blue black and I've never had chin filler or any filler in my life. Previous, previously, before this, I only had Botox. So, my chin felt so stiff that I was not used to having this thing. I, I could feel like there was... I could feel the chin fillers. It was not like... I, not, no, it was not notice. It was not unnoticeable. Like, definitely can feel. As you can tell, right? My face was damn swollen. Like, immediately after it was getting swollen already. And so, I, I only drank liquids and... Um, yeah, side view. I okay. Oh, and because of the and because I did like pour on my face, right? I couldn't lie down because if I were to lie down, the liquids couldn't drain from my face. And like, 
the lymphatic drainage just wasn't like it will, it will not be it so yeah like i had to sleep upright the whole time and then over at my chin i honestly couldn't feel anything at all until now right like some portions i cannot feel anything because the nerves are just taking time to recover but right after lipo you cannot feel a thing on your chin so this entire part is completely numb and as you can tell on my face there's absolutely no bruising no bruising at all so that was the first day and then next day i woke up obviously like they do try to they tell you to walk around so you can clear your lymphatic drainage but not too much because if you walk too much like your body will swell or some shit like that and then as you can tell like my face like literally had no wrinkle and it's not because of the face tape it was because my face is so swollen so on the fifth which is one day after wow it's really very bad especially if i were to eat something like just slightly salty just one grain of salt the night before i'll wake up the next morning and i'm a bloated like puffer fish like it, it really this whole thing is a trust the process kind of situation like look at my face in this video it's so bad this photo and this video is literally how I was walking around um, Gangnam the whole time because like you have to wear the head strap 24 hours for about 3 to 5 days. Honestly, the longer you wear it, the better because basically what the head strap supposed to do is like it's supposed to keep your skin touching like because right like be between the, the external skin here and like inside the meat on your face, right? There was this layer of fat, right? And then you remove it. Then now there's this like gap. So you're supposed to wear that head that that headband so that you like pop the skin down like that so they like reattach and get stuck. Not that like if you don't wear it it will look like shit lah. But if the doctor say wear then just wear lah. Later like you got problem then it's like if you want to you want to avoid problems right, and complications in the future. I only remove like this part the the circle parts which were basically hydrocolloid stickers and I just replaced them with new ones that I got from like um Olive Young and I think that those were just to like suck up any like facial fluids that came out of my face like you know pus or whatever because like that's the entry point of like the thread lips now that it didn't leave a scar I cannot feel where the entry points were anymore so right now I'm totally fine but at that, at that point in time, I was just super, super sore. Like, my face really felt very sore. So, the whole time that, for, like, I think two to three days from the surgery, I didn't actually wash my face properly. I just used um, toning pads, which I should have just used cleansing sheets. But then, I, I didn't know what to do. And I personally, my complexion, more or less, like, I can go a few days without properly cleaning my skin and it will be fine. Uh. This was my second meal of, like, the second like official meal so i had risotto this risotto honestly right was really 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 like what i needed because everything soft mushy mushy but inside got walnuts every time i beat down a walnut right cannot really because the moment i had to chew something like like i can't even open my mouth because my face is so tight and like my my stitches are so new right so these stitches is keeping my face up like that right so i couldn't even open my mouth big i have a video of me putting the spoon in my mouth like that was the max i could open my mouth and like the the food wasn't even like going into my mouth because like i was like i was like like kind of like pouring it into my mouth and i just needed to eat soup it was quite tiring la to eat like i honestly at one point i just only drank soup or like soupy things like for example fur where like the soup and the noodle will just slide in your mouth because i just couldn't eat and then so this is my first hair wash after two days um honestly right like the the scary part okay the thing is if you were to just be getting like the fox line leaf hair wash hair you you would be able to wash your hair perfectly fine by yourself but the only issue was because i had the mini face leaf that's why i had to get my hair professionally washed and right some places they actually make you pay extra for plastic surgery like plastic surgery fee so this one thank god i didn't have to i just told them i had stitches and then i think i paid about like 20 bucks or some shit for the hair wash which honestly is quite overpriced still but i mean like they they will massage your hair and shit lah but sometimes they do forget so like this one and the previous sal i mean this one and the other salon that i went to both forgot that i had stitches so like it it was in their natural like um their natural like uh routine to massage the side of your head right so there was there was once they pressed down on my stitcher so that one hurt quite a lot but honestly not bad this was 20 dollars and it was very liberating because by then my hair was so stinky and it was just not it man on the seventh 
on the seventh, as you can tell, my face still very very swollen. Um, at this point in time, right, like I would say, I would completely say that like my thread lips was still fucking pain. Like my face still very sore, and like everything else, just my chin just didn't feel anything. But my mouth really still cannot open at all. And then, so the seventh is also the day where they were like, okay, it's time for us to remove the bandage. By right, actually, according to them, they told me that I was supposed to remove the bandage by myself. But honestly, I just was so scared to remove it. And I wanted it to be like in a sanitary place where they knew what they were doing. So I just didn't dare. Because I never ever had stitches before in my life. Like ever had stitches. So I didn't want to fuck anything up. And I was so worried that like for example if I pull out the gauze, the gauze stuck to the stitches. I didn't understand the concept of stitches or how it works. So I was like never mind. I'm going to go to the clinic and get it removed. And so that's what they did. Like they helped me pull out the, they pull out the gauze. And then they also helped me clean the area. I don't know why. I don't know why whether it's just me. I don't really have bruising or you won't bruise but i mean like maybe if you are more prone to bruising you might bruise but i had absolutely no bruising on my face okay then as once once i removed it right i think it's very obvious you can tell like the v shape is there but my face was still very 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 swollen that's why when i came back to singapore and i did some videos about my procedure i had a couple of people comment like oh why your face still look the same or blah 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 stuff like that because like it literally took like till now now my chin is just slightly swollen but like it's Jan now, early Jan. I did this early November, so November, December. Yeah, I took about two months for it to like sl- like fully subside for the swelling to like truly come down. Okay, so you can see this side view. Like my face really, really very swollen. But I don't know if y'all can tell the lines over here where my face looks dented in. It's not because of like anything, but it's it's the elastic from wearing the headband. Cause oh, oh even though like, I remove like the the bandage aura. Right. I was still wearing the headband on a regular basis. Lah. So every time I'm not eating or like I'm just walking the streets. So long as I'm not eating or not taking photos, I'm wearing the headband. Okay, and then so this was this was also me having to film like a video and as you can tell from me talking, like my face was so swollen. Just look at my cheeks the whole time while I was talking, like wow, I really look like chipmunk here and it's really like super super swollen. So this is four days after the procedure honestly this i i really trusted the process because imagine if you look like that i would be damn scared so for those people that want to do it like closer to chinese new Year or like you have an event you really have to also time properly because it really takes time like a good one month for it to not look swollen look at my face that i is really quite swollen so my hair wash on the 6th, then my next hair wash was on the 10th. Okay, I never washed my hair for 4 days, but you have to keep in mind lah. That's why I was like, let's just do it now because it's winter time anyway. Like, it was like autumn going into winter. So it's very cooling. You don't feel sweaty. You can don't wash your hair for a prolonged period of time. And like, this was the salon where I had to pay extra. Even though it's the same branch, like the same um hair group. It's called Juno Hair. But this one's the one where they made me pay extra $20 in plastic surgery fee. So this hair wash was 40 bucks. And this one, they also forgot that I had, like, stitches. So, they pressed them hard on my stitches. So, on the 11th, I went back, which is one week, like, exactly one week after my surgery, to get my stitches removed. So, we got my stitches removed. And then, we also um, had a full consultation with the doctor. They took an after photo. And that after photo now is permanently on their Instagram forever. And I look so terrible in both of them. Because, like, I still haven't 100% recovered. <laughs> okay, but honestly, I feel like the camera lens that they use did make my face look wider than it is like i i i have taken my ic photo before and i don't think my face is this wide so take it with a pinch of salt love but as you can tell like from the lighting my face is still very swollen but now i'm 100 percent stitches free and basically at this stage right i can fly back to singapore already even while i still have stitches on i can fly back to singapore because like i can remove you can always just get your stitches removed like at a polyclinic in singapore lah. But yeah, the before and after is obvious. Like, really can tell there's a V in my face now. But like, my face still fucking swollen. So if I were to take a... If I go back now and take an after photo now and you compare to my before, the difference will be even more significant. But because this is like a seven-day thing, the Botox kicked in quite fast. So normally Botox takes about like two, three weeks. Then that's more or less how my healing journey for seven days of cosmetic surgery has been like in in korea i hope that this is comprehensive things to take away is if you were to just solely do the the jaw area right you don't actually need 
to have stitches and I believe the healing is going to be much easier because once removing the stitches aspect of it really really changes things up lah because like there is no need to go for a specific hair wash because there's no incision in terms of healing wise how did I feel throughout the whole thing was I very miserable no could I go about daily activities yes I even went to ever I even went to Lotte World two weeks after but when I went to Lotte World I did the shoom thing this tower thing and I screamed and my face was so pain afterwards like I was so sore like so if you want to take rides where you have to scream and shit like that right I would say wait for at least a good two and a half weeks before you go and do those kind of things but other than that I feel like it was very worth it and I don't there was never one point in time that I was so in pain or like suffering to the point where I'm regretting this entire experience or regretting my choice. Uh, another thing is don't feel pressurized to say yes to everything and every procedure that they recommend you because sometimes like obviously naturally what they want to recommend you kind of just no matter how unbiased and how many foreign faces they've done right obviously it does lean towards the korean ideal standards of beauty so for example a rounded forehead and like uh, maybe your nose shape blah, blah blah stuff like that but if it's one just one specific thing of your face that you really want to fix and you feel like after fixing this you'll feel more confident i would say go ahead and like you only have one life to live so if doing a procedure makes you feel more confident and makes you happier of yourself right then go ahead um the pricing wise like all i know is that for my jaw area it was two thousand dollars i don't know how is, how much is it for the face stiff but overall i um i'm just gonna be point blank honest i was sponsored i reached out to the clinic so initially i wanted to pay but then i just reached out to them i was like do you all want to collab and they were like yeah but they're not paying me to make this video like they're not paying me to like tell you that it's like amazing or whatever like is it life-changing for me honestly yes because after being online and having to see my face in videos and stuff like that i i feel like naturally i always had like um defined like jaw like cheekbones but i just didn't like how big my jaw was on videos and so if i could change it and i had the capacity to change it i was like why not after this literally after this i'll be filming the story time video of like the whole process and how i felt like on the day itself and then after that i'll be going into a in-depth detail of what exactly i did and would i recommend doing what i did so um stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys when i see you um remember to subscribe i mean like i will not be milking plastic surgery surgery videos because there's only that many i can make but i am it's 2023 i'm trying to push out more youtube content as well as tiktok content and i just want to do more sit down and talk videos also so if you enjoyed this video subscribe and follow me on my socials at lion nicole on tiktok and on instagram and i'll see See y'all next time. Bye!